Hi. So I want to just go through some uh, easy, easy steps uh, for mindfulness or meditation or stillness, whatever you want to call it. Um, and ask the question why we find it so difficult to uh, just be with ourselves for say 15 minutes a day. 15 minutes of 24 hours. We find it very, very difficult to just be with ourselves. And the reason is, is when we sit with ourselves, we actually have to face the true darkest corners of ourselves that we've hidden for many, many years. Um, suppressed feelings that we've hidden away. And um, so I just want to go through some steps where you can actually face that in the comfort of your own home. You don't have to do anything. In actual fact, I'm actually, we're actually asking to do nothing sit and do nothing and instead of thinking to start feeling because so, I think uh, the energies on the planet especially for the last week has been a little bit intense to say the least and we've all felt it from within on a personal level and also massively on a collective level so I think it's a little bit of a wake-up call uh, for us to come together and um, the only way to do that is to start feeling ourselves from within, to start loving ourselves. Uh, it's funny that we find it so challenging to just sit with ourselves. And that's the beginnings of, of facing ourselves and starting to, to, to love that little, little kid that we've suppressed so long. Um, so, so, yeah, so it's, uh, it's so simple. Anyone can do it. You just sit and you breathe. And you can watch your thoughts with this. Your little voice and your little ego will start saying, but this is boring. This is boring. This is such a waste of time. I don't have time to do this. I have things to do. Just sit and do nothing. Try it. See if you can get past that barrier. It's, it can be painful. It can be painful. The first time, I found it very, very hard the first time I had to sit for 15 minutes. And the ego's in here, what are you doing? This is so pointless. So pointless, I've got things to do. And you can watch that monkey brain of yours bouncing around. And the only way to switch that monkey brain off is to go within your body. So you can try it anywhere. Sit and just put your attention on your hands. Close your eyes, sit and put your attention on your hands. And jump around different parts of the body and see how long you can hold it there for until the voice, the ego, starts coming. I like to call him Igor, but anyway. So yeah, that's all, that's all it is. Take, uh, find a nice, comfortable, spot in your in your home uh somewhere you feel the most relaxed and sit for 15 minutes um you can do any kind of mindfulness anywhere really um all kind of activity and especially creative activity is uh, is meditation um at the moment with these energies going on, on the planet the best thing to try and do is to do creative stuff like you used to as a child Start drawing again. See, see if you can. Start writing again. You know, painting. Whatever you want to do. Learn a new instrument. You know, try and use that side of our, our brains much more. The, uh, we need to start using the right side of our brains more. Our feminine side. And um, the left brain. We are using way too much of right now. But this is, this is what's happening with this ascension. Anyway, uh, so give it a try and uh, we can uh, maybe start healing out there if we heal within. We need to heal our own darkness and then slowly it will start healing our outer darkness. Our outer darkness is just a reflection of our own inner collective darkness. This is our collective darkness. Look what we've produced 
in the last week. This is, the world's gone mad, of course, the world's gone mad, but look what we produce. We have to take responsibility that that is a reflection of who we are as a species. And the only way out of this is through, and it's through that barrier that we have when we sit with ourselves. We need to start, start to love that part, and then the collective will happen like a, like a ripple in a pond. Okay, thank you guys. Ah.